ya. Welcome back to my channel. You can see me over there. Um, hi ya. Yeah, so I look a bit different. The self is different. I'm trying to take advantage of the natural light. You know, the light that makes everyone look beautiful. Um, so yes, I have been meaning to do other videos on my channel and I like skincare is my bag that is my that is my obsession that's what I love to talk about for those of you that don't know I have a skincare line in the works it's been in the works for about 18 months now um, called Bow Skincare I will leave the Instagram page um, in the comment section comment section in the description box Bow Skincare started in like 2011 and then the the god honest truth is self-confidence lack of self-confidence made me just shut the whole thing down and then um you know some soul searching encouragement from friends and loved ones i said all right i'm gonna start this back up and i'm gonna go for it and so i restarted the whole process of like you know starting business and going through the process of getting stuff um safety assessed and all that kind of stuff that you need um you know testing all that kind of stuff um because my my products made from scratch um and so yeah that's been in the works for about 18 months and because of you know thou that shall not be named um obviously it's delayed things so you know but i still love skincare um i still love talking about other skincare products is what i mean to say i'm obsessed and a bit of a skincare junkie um and yes yeah, so i've been wanting to talk about skincare skincare products stuff that i love ingredients that i love um but i've been nervous because i'm like i'm not a dermatologist i'm not an esthetician people gonna be like what does she know but you know i mean This is my channel, if I want to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, yes, today's video, I um, feel like I should start from the basics, right? I don't know if this is the basics, but we're going to go with it. Um, so, I'm talking about my AM hydrating routine. The reason I'm specifying AM and the reason I'm specifying hydrating is because um, my AM routine is different to my PM because AM, you know, I'm just trying to get rid of whatever's left on my face from last night. Um, I'm not really using that many actives. I usually, loosely speaking for the most part, in the mornings, I focus on hydration. Generally speaking, because most of the time I leave all my active products for nighttime and then in the morning I'm just like, I'm sorry what I did to you yesterday. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, take some hydration. So that's generally, loosely speaking, that's how I see my morning routines. Um, also, the reason I'm saying hydration is because when I use a particularly strong active, all I'm doing the next day, pretty much AM and probably AM and PM, like if I have a retinol night, all I'm gonna do is slather on hydration all day long. So yeah, I thought I'd specify in that sense, that's what this routine is. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you the products that I use, why I love them, why I use them. Um, some of them I've been using for, I've been rocking for years. Some of them relatively new. I mean, new as in the last month, but I love. Okay, so first things first, let me take off my glasses. Now, clearly, we are not in my bathroom, we're in my bedroom, okay? So I have a few bowls of water, lukewarm water, so that um, I can wash my face thoroughly without having to be in the bathroom, because the bathroom, see, the bathroom looks cute, the bed looks cute, a little lamp in the corner. The bathroom don't look like that. We, we've been in this house for coming up to a year now, and the bathroom has not been, it's not been touched. So we, we're not gonna look at the bathroom. Um, we could be in here. Um, so right, start. Cleansers. Okay, so let me, get, let me grab my bowl, my bowl of water. Um, cleansing in the morning. I am not really looking for anything special. I'm not looking for anything fantastic. For me personally, a cleanser in the AM. I mean, cleansers, generally speaking, I'm probably not, okay, let's uh, tell the truth first. I'm not gonna spend more than I'm thinking of what is in my collection. Okay, um, generally speaking, yeah, just generally speaking, I'm not really gonna spend, it's gonna make me, mm, if I spend more than 25 pound on the cleanser. Cause I have cleansers that are one pound 50 that I love. Um, the simple um, refreshing face wash gel is like one pound 50. And if it's on sale, you can get like two for two pound. It's, it's fantastic, right? And that is my, that is my go-to ride or die, do nothing cleanser. I just want to wash my face. I don't want you to do anything. I don't even want you, nothing. Just do nothing cleanser. If my face is irritated, if I've used a really strong active and, and I just need the cleanser to clean my face and do nothing, that's my go-to. 
but um, generally speaking for cleansers, I don't really like to spend that much money on them because it's a rinse off product. It might do a little some some, but it ain't gonna do a lot. So I would rather put all my money and all my coins elsewhere in my skincare skincare routine so what i'm currently using is a new one and i'm going to just drop this in there if you are a skincare junkie like me or you you, you want to delve into skincare buy minis right because you will go and buy a product right that's like 75 pounds right it's gonna hurt your wallet when you buy it. you're like yeah but i want to try i've heard so many good things about it you try it and for your skin it doesn't work you now have 75 pounds just sitting in your cabinet and you can't use it, it's it paying you. But if you spend 20 pounds and buy the smaller version or you buy the little minis, the little, they call it travel sets. I just see it as deluxe samples, right? You buy the little deluxe sample, you try it out and you go, oh my God, I love this. Then you're happy. You don't even feel it when you spend 75 pounds on it because you spent 20 for this fantastic, I'll buy it again. So buy minis. So anyway, right, recently I ordered some stuff from Cult Beauty because I'm at home and what else am I going to do? Um, and so I ordered some Kate Somerville because I've not tried Kate Somerville and I was looking for some uh, the exfoliating, she has an exfoliating treatment that's like really well known cult product and I wanted that but that product, that specific product, the full size is 70 something, I think 72 pounds. Um, and the mini is 21 pounds, but they had like this little introductory gift set to that particular line, which is called Exfolicate. And it was like 35 pounds. I was like, oh, I'll try it. Cause it comes with three products. I was like, okay, I'll try it. And so I bought it for the exfoliating treatment. It's the intensive something, something exfoliating treatment, but it came with a cleanser and a moisturizer. And I was like, well, you know, I mean, I've got these extras. So let me just try it. Oh my God, the cleanser is amazing. I love it. It's really, it's really gentle. It's like, um, it's exfoliating, it's slightly exfoliating, so kind of resurfacing, uh, but nothing harsh, nothing stripping. It doesn't even feel like you wash your face. It just feels still hydrated. It's gorgeous, it smells lovely. I've seriously, I, I've fallen in love with this cleanser. Definitely, definitely, I've already put it in my basket, my wish list thing. Definitely gonna purchase the full size. And it's quite generous, because it's a 50 mil, so I'm gonna show you. I don't know if the light is gonna cooperate, if you're gonna be able to read that. Is that upside down? Lord have mercy. Oh, do you know what? I'll put a cut away, to make it easier. But this is the Kate Somerville Exfoli Cake Cleanser Daily Foaming Wash. Now, I don't normally like foaming things, but again, this, 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 I wasn't, I never hesperated it. So I love this, this is amazing. So right, okay, let's go start with the cleanser. I'm going to wet the face first. Ooh. Okay, whoa, let's get this in there. I should have come closer and show you what my skin looks like generally, okay. I've just put some water on there. Nothing. It's just water. I'm going to come closer without knocking over the water and everything. I'll try. Okay, so this is what my face looks like, right? Okay. So generally speaking, you know, I have clear skin. I have a few little, um, tiny little whiteheads, which I think might be from, I'm using a new retinol. Ooh, boobies. I'm using a new retinol product. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm just giving my skin a bit of a blight to get used to it. So generally speaking, my skin's quite clear. I've, for most of my life, I've had clear skin i've never really had any bad acne problems um early late 2017 uh, no early 2018 yeah early 2018 i had a really bad bout of fungal acne if you've never heard of fungal acne sticks and pictures fungal acne um now i have some dermatitis i'm familiar with the same yeast slash fungus that causes fungal acne it's the same thing that you deal with with seborrheic dermatitis i've done a video about that previously um and so I really, really had to take time with my skin when I had the fungal acne. But aside from that, I've not really had problematic skin, to, so to speak. So I'm gonna put that out there from the back. Cause I'll be like, oh, your skin clear, you know what you're talking about. I'm putting out from the back. I've never really, really had problematic skin, apart from that early 2018 when I wanted to just, you know, take sandpaper and just, Apart from that, I've been all right. So anyway, onto the cleanser. Right, so, wet my face again. Oh, 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 oh. I um, do not wash my face in the shower because, and it's not because there's anything particularly wrong with it, but because I like to shower with kettle water. I know it's not good for your face. It's not for, good for your body skin. It strips out the moisture, but I'm setting my ways. So, I wash my face after I've had a shower, after I've depleted all the moisture from my skin, I go and lock it back in. But um, yeah, I don't do it to my face because I can hide if I've got a dry patch on my arm, I can't hide that on my face. Um, so this is a cleansing puff. It's basically a dupe for the face halo. If you know what the face halo is. Right, so it's a microfiber facial cleansing puff 
thing. Um, and if you've got makeup on, you can use it to remove makeup with just water. You just wet it. And obviously because it's microfiber, but all the makeup sticks to it and it comes off. I still use a double cleansing method when I've got makeup on, but I do like using this as my flannel, so to speak. So yeah, that's how much cleanser I've got. A little bit of cleanser, wet face. And the instructions say to apply for 20 to 30 seconds. I do not do that. I don't always follow the rules. I like to use this for 60 seconds. So I'm sure most of you have heard of, if you haven't, you need to get to know, about LA Beautyologist. Um, she's an esthetician, as the name suggests, based out in LA. And she had um, this skincare tip go viral, I think a couple of years ago now, called the 60 second method. And so what she talks about is cleansing for a period of at least 60 seconds to give the cleanser a chance to do what it's supposed to do. And I'll admit, I was one of those that, you know, would cleanse for 15, 20 seconds and then carry on about my business. And especially if you are investing money in your cleanser, I mean, I personally don't, but if you're spending loads of money on your cleanser to only leave it on your face for 15 seconds, you're not really giving it a chance to do what you are spending your money for it to do. So yes, I like to cleanse for 60 seconds minimum. I tend to go for a few minutes if it's the evening because then I'm oil cleansing and then using my um, kind of face cleanser. But I do like to go for at least 60 seconds whoa, to give the cleanser a chance to do what it needs to do and then remove. Shake it off. Right, after cleansing, we move on to toner. Right, this toner is my ride or die. This toner I discovered, right, um, when I first started, uh, when I first encountered fungal acne. So that was my discovery in like my introduction to K-Beauty. K-Beauty is Korean beauty. So Korean skincare specifically, because K-Beauty encompasses skincare, makeup, you know, all kinds of beauty products. So specifically it was my introduction into korean skincare and uh, took me down a long rabbit hole that i will never come out of right so um k beauty products this i cannot pronounce the name pyung kang yo pyung kang yo right this is their essence toner i have this is the 200 ml bottle this is the big bottle i have 200 ml bottle i have a 100 ml bottle that was in my gym bag or is my in my gym bag when you know <laughs> Um, I love this stuff. I have lost count of how many bottles I have. This one currently, I dropped it, so the lid broke. I wanted to cry, but it's okay. We still gonna use you up. Um, and so it's an essence toner. I'm gonna list here on the side the beneficial ingredients. What I love about it is how gentle it is. Now, I said to you, I introduced this at a time when my skin was battling fungal acne and it didn't have any products that were going to exacerbate the condition so it's really gentle really soothing super hydrating and also um, a trend that was around a few years ago when it came to Korean skincare products was the seven skins method the seven skins method is where you take an essence or a to an essence toner or a light, light hydrating toner no actives just hydration and you layer it on up to seven times as a way of um, really imparting hydration into the skin so i think i've done what three i don't do the seven skins method anymore i don't feel like it's necessary for my skin but i will do between three and five especially on the days after a heavy active night so like after a retinol night or exfoliator yeah then i'll st i'll slap loads of this onto my face we move on to neod neod is um from desiem this is like the desiem's got a loads of brands probably the most famous is the ordinary but Neod is like the expensive big sister and I love Neod products because they're based in science. Um, I mean, all of Destiny's products are based in science, but this is like advanced technology. I love this stuff. I can't pronounce it. It's the superoxide some saccharide mist, right? The reason why I love it is um, when I have any kind of irritation or inflammation on my skin, like I have a hormonal breakout, I have a running with fungal acne, anything, this calms it down. Okay, not so much fungal acne, but if I have any kind of hormonal, hormonal breakout on my chin or I've over exfoliated, my face is pissed off, essentially, 
I love this stuff. It's kind of pricey for a mist. It's £34 a bottle, but it's a giant bottle. It's 240ml. This stuff lasts me like for forever and a day. I'm about to run out, but this probably keeps me going to the end of the month when I buy a new one. Um, so yeah, I put a few sprays. Just a bit more than a few. Um, some people don't like the smell. To me, I think I'm probably used to it. It doesn't really have any kind of smell. It's not a perfume or anything. It's just, I guess, the smell of the ingredients because it has got um, like a yeast in there. Oh, I love this stuff. Um, but yeah, it just it calms my skin down. Anything at all that could potentially be irritating it or causing any kind of inflammation or swelling, like how I said, you know, my skin's getting used to retinol. Love this stuff. Then onto the eyes. I don't really fuss with eye cream however I bought this eye cream and I am using it up so I'm not really going to talk much about it personally I don't really have any problem with my eyes and I prefer to take whatever serums or moisturizers I am using and just carry it up to my eyes uh, but this is Clinique all about eyes it says it reduces circles and puffs I mean it's it's a nice moisturizer it's not bad it doesn't it doesn't cause me milia, milia or anything like that but it's not something that I would race to race to um, buy again. Okay. This product's a little bit controversial for people that are not used to Korean skincare products, right? Okay, so this is by Benton, another, um, this particular ingredient. So it's not necessarily this product. This product's quite popular, but it's not necessarily the product, it's the ingredient. So, <clears throat> snail filtrate, yes, snail, snail. Snail filtrate is hugely popular in Korean skincare. Over in the Western world over here, People here, they're just, they're just thinking of the snails in their back garden, they're like, that is fucking disgusting, right? But that shit is amazing! Oh, for hydration, it's amazing. Um, this one is by Benton, and this is called the Snail Bee High Content Essence, right? Snail Bee High Content Essence is tested under derma dermatological control, snail secre secretion filtrate, bee venom, and another peptide that I can't pronounce the full name. Various botanical extracts to help um, improve your complexion. This essence keeps your skin hydrated and smooth and there were no lies told. This is my second bottle. Um, the first one lasted me about five months. I generally use one pump. When I first started using, I used more, but I have other serums that I love, so I can't be giving all my time to this one. But this is, again, a fave product that is going to be staying okay i'm gonna use it my pump it's gonna stay in my collection for the long haul i i love this there is another one um by i think it's by cosrx which is another k beauty brand um but personally i love the benton one i when it comes to hydration this is just this is just the the ish it's like my skincare routine right i have do you know i never said i have oily combination skin that's been the situation my whole life i'm um, oily in the t-zone i can fry eggs on my nose um my cheeks can get dry sometimes but everywhere else you know like the top part of my cheeks my chin they're normal um i used to be that person that would always buy mattifying products that would um buy anything that was going to reduce oiliness until i learnt um, that oiliness is a symptom of dehydration. If you have oily skin, sis, or bro, and you are sitting there slapping, mattifying this and mattifying, stop it. Don't do it. You're not doing yourself any favors. Hydrate your skin. Chuck moisture down your pores, bruv, and the oiliness will calm down. Because the reason it's so oily is because your skin is dehydrated. So your skin says, okay, well, you ain't going to give me nothing. I'm going to produce oil. So if you give it what it wants, it's going to say, okay, I'm going to chill now because I feel good. So... Hydration is the foundation of my skincare routine personally, before any actors or anything. Hydration. Moisturizer. So this is from COSRX. Again, another Korean skincare. You can see where I'm going with this. Korean skincare brand. Um, this is the oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion with birch sap. I mean, this is kind of like a do-nothing moisturizer. Um, not to say that it's bad, um, but it's not doing anything special. It's just keeping my skin hydrated. Okay, I wouldn't say that's not something special. That's a good thing, but yeah, it's not got any actives is what I mean. So there's no like, you know, glycolic, there's no niacinamide, there's no, you know, there's no azelic acid. There's nothing in there that is doing something. This is just to keep my skin plump and glowy and hydrated. Um, so yeah, it's a good moisturizer and I like it for the AM when I'm just trying to keep my skin glowing. Um, Right, lips. Be lovely, beautiful lips. This is from Neil's Yard. I didn't actually buy this. I got this 
from a colleague as part of a gift set, a little Neil's Yard gift set for Christmas. And I didn't expect to like it, but I love it. And I love it because it's got orange essential oil on it, so it smells so good. I tried to use some of my son's lip because he tends to get really chapped lips and he just licks it off. So. But yeah, so I like to use this in the morning. In the evenings, I like um, Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask. That's really nice because I have a tendency to get really chapped lips. I have to stay on top of it to keep them looking nice. And my lips, right? have got a lot of lines in them so even if they have even if they are hydrated <laughs> even if they are hydrated they look um they look like they're chapped so i feel like i have to do extra to have them looking luscious last step okay sunscreen now my melanated brothers and sisters yeah sunscreen in the uk for us it's not the one let's just put it that way it's not the one they are not thinking of us when they're making a the sunscreen they'll come and say oh it's tinted it's in three shades a4 sheet paper plain plain flower and then rich tea biscuit that's that's the shades that they offer into us um so if not it's just casper the friendly ghost talcum powder right and so if you want a sunscreen that's going to work for you um but not make you look like casper and you have to throw makeup on top I feel like you have to go elsewhere, you've got to spend a bit of money. You can't, you're not gonna go into Boots and get something for you, personally, I don't think. My sunscreen is from Japan. Now, check the brand's name, do you see that? That is Nivea. Nivea, why we don't have this over here? We want clear sunscreen too, okay? Um, but this is from Japan, I ordered it online from Amazon because a lot of the Japanese sunscreens are available on Amazon, they just take a while to get here. But because of, you know, that that shall not be named, it might take a long time for you to get if you order it now. I've been using this for the best part of a year now, and this is the Nivea Sun Super Water Gel SPF 50, okay? Um, it's lightweight, it comes out looking kind of yellow, let me see if I can show you, but I promise you, once it's sunk in, it is clear, and I get this, I slather it all over my face um so sunscreens there are a few on my list that i want to try um there are some that you are available are able to get within the uk helio care is a great brand um not personally used it but i know it has um gel formulations that do not leave a white cast so that's great for black people and darker skin people um there's glossier have their uv shield one super goop does is it super good they do sunscreens that have they've got loads of different sun sunscreens but they have the ones that don't leave a white cast um gel formulation you can order those from sephora i don't know where else in the uk you can order them from because sephora is obviously come from france and get shipped over anyway so yes that is my morning hydrating skincare routine um i hope the video was a bit informative but chit chatty relaxed listen i your sis is going through it right now uh, so I am doing what I can to keep myself sane. Um, skincare being the optimal. Listen, somebody need to cancel my account on Carl Beauty and Space NK and Boots. And just, yeah, because I I just feel crappy. And then I go click, click. Because like I've been on like a weight loss journey since the beginning of the year. And so I can't eat my feelings no more. I feel crap. I can't eat my feelings. So do you know what I'm doing? Spending. Spending anyway i've been waffling on for a long time i hope this video was useful i am probably gonna do some more not probably i am because i love talking skincare i'm gonna do some more videos talking my favorite ingredients um i'll probably do one talking about my favorite korean skincare brands and products because i feel like unless i am like out of the loop i feel like there's not that many um black people in the uk specifically that know with korean skincare which I don't understand why, because their shit's amazing. Their, their skincare products are great. And personally, the reason I think they're great is because they focus on hydration. They focus on things like brightening as well. And when they say brightening, they mean even skin tone rather than like lightening. Some of them not, but most the brands, they talk about even skin tone rather than, you know, you try and become um, But yeah, there'll be more skincare videos coming out because um, Talking about that makes me feel good. Um, yeah, you got any questions or anything like that, hit me up in the DMs, message me on Instagram. Please give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more of it. Um, and yeah, I am 
I'm hungry. It's like half 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm eating today. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna chill. Oh, I am watching. I just started like literally at half past 12 in the night last night, watching Too Hot to Handle on Netflix. Ciao. Okay. Anyway, until the next video. Bye.